How do we perform dramas at home? Having a child perform dramatic readings or plays is an important part of preparing him for public speaking in the future. Whether he is reading in front of others, singing in choir, interviewing for a job, or hosting a meeting, drama is a great way for your student to learn these things in a safe space. First, drama teaches confidence in speaking in front of others and helps to overcome some of his inhibitions of not knowing what to say. He has a script to follow to help him create a character different from himself. Second, drama helps a student learn creative problem solving, whether it's how to make each character distinct in a one-man show or how to work together to tell a story in a group. Each student must solve some problem. Making costumes and props from what you have around is also a great way to teach thinking outside the box. And finally, drama nourishes creativity and empathy. He'll begin to see concepts he is learning in a different way. And your student will have opportunities to explore, discuss, and deal with different issues and to express his emotions about it in a supportive environment. There are several levels of involvement that you may wish to attempt with your student. First off, there is solo. Oral interpretation is a way to do drama with just one person. Your student will be learning ways to change his voice to distinguish a different character. Listen for appropriate feeling or emotional tone and the rise and fall of the voice, that's inflection, and then proper volume and pitch. Listen for conversational flow with the appropriate phrasing and speed. Listen for proper breathing and appropriate pausing for punctuation. Although all of these elements will improve his presentation, his interpretation should always enhance the author's meaning of the text. And another simple level of involvement is duo. That's with student and parent or student and student. Because reading an entire play alone may be difficult for a young reader. So encourage him to select one character to focus on and you or others read the other characters with him. Later, he might try two very different characters to vocalize while you read the rest. So discuss possible physical attributes that a character may have, like maybe a nose twitch or a high voice or scratching or a scrunched face. The distinction of doing an action may actually help him get into character and reduce his self-consciousness. So discuss using a simple costume or a prop to help his audience determine who is speaking. And finally, a more complicated but fun level of involvement is an ensemble. That's the student plus friends and family. Now, once your student feels comfortable with expressive speech, he may enjoy gathering a few of his friends to perform a play together. While memorizing lines and performing a script has its benefits, going off script to create something new has its own set of advantages. First, you can observe your student's understanding of the story when he uses his own words. Second, paraphrasing frees your student to do more acting and actions when he's not tied to recalling those exact words. And third, given a positive environment and the right story, kids can work together as teamwork to decide the cast and discuss voices, maybe simple costumes and actions, and their play can turn a rainy day into an adventure in imagination and creativity. Drama is a wonderful way to inspire creativity and outside-the-box thinking while building confidence and understanding for your young reader. Drama should add dimension to the literature, increase your student's attentiveness, and improve his communication skills.